Hi YouTube friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to transform your computer and turn it into the Iron Man computer uh, named Jar Jarvis. So I've never done this before so you're going to have to uh, follow along with me and we're going to do this together. So first thing I'm going to do is open our Google Chrome right here and we're going to go to Rain Meter. Rain Meter dot com I think nope it's not dot com so we'll do a quick search for it rain meter there it is dot net desktop customization tool so we're going to go ahead and we're going to download it there's a download button right here download 3.1 version downloading right here all right it's done downloading it should be done in a second here Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're going to go ahead and install it. So I hit the, whoop, didn't start for some reason. There we go. There we go. And hit the run button. And we want English. And standard, standard ins installation will do. Standard 64-bit launch on startup, yes. Install. And the yes button. And there you go. Now it wants to run Rain Meter. I'm not sure we're going to go ahead and run it. So at first, Rain Meter really doesn't do much. Uh, all it does is add these couple little things there and add this thing right here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to close that one. So as uh, if I right-click on it, there's variants right here and it says Welcome I and I. I click that one and it's all gone. All right. So now that Rain Meter has been installed, we're going to look at the next thing that we want to install here. So, alright, so it says uh, download the wallpaper. And see the wallpaper here on Deviant Art is uh, three links put together. That's because this actual wallpaper here is, it's, this is not it, it's edited. So there's like three different pictures on here. So I kind of did my own little version because I can find that actual one. And you can get the link in the, in the bottom description. Anyway, so here's... Here's the picture that I made. Doesn't look quite the same, but it should do. So I'm gonna want to save this image, or maybe make it bigger first, and go save image as. And I'm gonna put in my pictures, and save it. So now what I'm gonna want to do is click here and uh, open the open the folder here. Find the picture which is right here, and I'm gonna want to right click and set it as desktop. So right there, set us desktop. So now if I go back, there's my desktop. All right, and it's got some some things from Raymeter here already, but we're gonna move those in time. So next thing, we're gonna go back to uh, the first tab here and uh, look at the next thing, which is install the main skin package from Avenger. So we're gonna click on the link. And I'm going to right-click it and open a new tab. And this is what it looks like, the shield version. Um, yeah, so all you need to do to install this, really, is hit the download button, which is right below this ad right here. So it took me a little while to figure it out at first. And it's right there. So you click on it, and it'll start downloading. It doesn't take long. When it's download done downloading, you just open it up. And it's going to want to do some stuff. You say install. So it's going, it's installing. And that's all you really have to do. And now that, that part is installed. See if I go back here. Now there's a bunch of cool stuff. And this is the Shield OS, whatever. So it's pretty easy to use. This is the option. And there's little tabs on the side here. Uh, this one that's to change the launchers and stuff like Chrome here if I wanted to add an icon you know I click this and it would add an icon to Chrome hey Chrome right there and that's it you know now there's a little icon for there so it's all customizable like you could change it all there's a bunch of options here you just need to uh, check them out so when you want to close this you, you right click on it and then you go to variant and then options.ni that will, that will shut this off 
And I'm going to move this thing. I'm going to put it kind of in the corner here. <coughs> so yeah, see the background kind of fits in here. And it's much better than the one that's on Deviant Art if you just download it. So this is much better. And now we're going to look at the next thing that we got to do. Alright, so next uh, I went ahead and did a little research. We're going to install the Tony Stark team. So this one's a little different. There's no install for it. So when you download it, which is right here to download, click on the button. It's going to open up the team. When you download it and you open it up in WinRAR or something, and all that there's be is a couple folders with a bunch of stuff in it. So you're going to want to actually extract this. So I'm going to go back to the Tony Stark folder. And then click the extract button. And you're going to want to go to your documents right here. And find Rain Meter. And then open up the skins. And then put it in the skins here. I already did it. That's why it's already there. But you won't see it. So you just hit that and hit OK. And there you go. Now it's installed already and that's all that it takes so if I go back to rain meter which uh, you click the little button here to open up your menu here and rain meter is right here and if you just click on it it'll open uh, open up the rain meter manager which is makes it way easier to do stuff and here's the this Tony Stark package that we added make sure you hit refresh all sometimes like if it's not there see I, I added two two package now so I can delete this one later but anyways, so now I hit the refresh button and it popped up. And this has a bunch of options and a bunch of things that you can do. But uh, tell you the truth, I don't really like any of them. So, but uh, if you like some, I could probably put this thing over top his heart here. Hey, that looks kind of cool. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of cool. And I don't know. I don't really like the dates or anything. You can try it out for yourself. And if you like something, you just put it somewhere. Uh, yeah, I wasn't impressed with any of it really. Uh, the iTunes stuff might work for you. But uh, I don't have iTunes. So uh, I don't have an Apple phone or anything. So I never use it. Um network the network one is the one that I have right here which is uh, popping up right here it's kinda cool I guess and you might like that one so there it is right there and it just keeps on going uh, the REM one I didn't find that one very interesting at all either so yeah I wasn't really happy with any of them even the weather one it kinda sucks so I uh, close this and I move on to the next one. So for the next one, we got uh, the weather skin, which uh, actually gives you a 404, I think. Yeah. So this page is gone now, so you can't even go there. And then the analog clock, you you, you can look at it. I mean, you can put it on, but uh, I wasn't. I wasn't happy with it and it didn't really do anything so I'm not going to put it on. Uh, next is uh, the to-do list. So the to-do list has a few things, a few cool things. Oops. Here we go. It's got a bunch of neat little things that you can do but uh, all that we really want is this circle spinning thing here that there's. So we're going to go ahead and download that. And again, it gives you a, a folder that you open with WinRAR. And when you get to this uh, space folder, you're going to want to extract this to uh, your documents. And then into Rain Meter and into the skins. So you're going to hit OK. And there you go. Now it's extracted. So now when we go back to Rain Meter, by opening this up and clicking on Rain Meter. Oops. Rain Meter is kind of come up right here. Come on, what's going on here?
There you go. Okay, so we're rain meter. And then uh, we got, you're going to hit the refresh all, of course. And then we got the space program here that came up. So what we want from this thing is probably uh, the clock right here. So it's a spinning clock. So if if I was you, I'd put it over top his heart here, and it it fits perfectly in the center. So there's a spinning clock, and you can probably turn the time off, um, but you probably have to edit the the actual files to turn the time off so that's kinda neat I uh, like the clock there and uh, there's a bunch of other cool things that you can probably use here for your system but uh, that's all that I'm gonna install on mine anyways so I'm gonna go ahead and look at the next one and as you can see you're starting to figure how this works right so it's pretty simple and the next one is called flyaway so flyaway does a bunch of cool neat things as well and uh... i'm gonna open it up and download it which is right here uh... It didn't work download there you go it downloaded so i open up in winrar and again it's a folder so i'm gonna hit extract and put in my documents rain meter skins and then hit ok Alright, so flyaway is there now. So if I was to refresh my rain meter, or it's right here, and I refresh all, there's flyaway. So flyaway has got a bunch of different things as well. Uh, the only one that we really want is the process I and I. So that's the one that we're going to load. And if we go back to our desktop. Uh, sorry, it's not the process I and I it's the time it's the time I and I one so and then we can grab the new thing that just spawned up here and it fits perfectly down here uh, if you're using the bigger desktop see I got I got a smaller desktop so it doesn't fit quite perfectly but if you're using the bigger bigger desktop than mine like a bigger monitor then it'll, it will fit perfectly in there and it looks neat um, next thing that I, I want to show you is actually how to get the, the clock working uh, I mean the weather app working so to get the weather app working we're gonna download what's it's called simply Nova and we're gonna hit the download button so this one's really in easy to install because it, it comes with a it comes with an install program you click on it make sure when you click on it that you take this check mark off so that it doesn't apply the layout right away and delete what you've done so you hit install and now you can go to the rain, uh, rain meter menu again and hit the refresh all and you will have the weather app which is called simply nova and open the vertical bar and load this in or the horizontal bar oh no sorry the weather you go under weather and the vertical bar right here so as you can see it loads up and it might load in the corner and you want to drag it over here what you're also going to want to load maybe is uh, the Illustro under Illustro you might want to load uh, th this one or the disk manager one right here which is the one that I have in the bottom left corner right here see how it loads and the system one so there's a bunch of you can there's a bunch of different things right here that you can do by on your own right away. So uh, we're gonna move on to the next one that was on the list there. So the next one that's on the list is uh, that that we just did the this system and network in Illustro. So we did that and we didn't add the network, but we can add the network I guess. Uh, Illustro network network high and I see how it pulls up here we're gonna put that one right underneath his chest there alright so the next one uh, the power level helmet HUD so let's check that out 
So this is what it looks like. The bar. So the only thing we want really is maybe this this bar right here. So we're gonna go ahead and download it and open it up. And it's gonna be another RAR file. Extract to documents, rain meter, skins, extract. Now we're gonna go back to our uh, rain meter. Open it up right there, rain meter. So now we're gonna hit the refresh, of course, again, and here we got the helmet HUD now. So all that we want is uh, maybe the power. So let's see how it says 100% uh, currently holding steady right there. And uh, of course you can check out all the other ones on here again. And uh, you can make it to however you like it. But that's uh, that's what that one is. And then we're going to go on to the next one. And the next one on the list is... I need to go back. Next one on the list is the week calendar. So let's check that out. And, and that one's been deleted. So that's it pretty much. And uh, as you can see, here's the final product. So it looks pretty neat, you know, and it's good, decent working background, and uh, it's got a lot of cool stuff, and yeah, that's how you make it. Hopefully you uh, enjoy my video, and uh, share. Thank you very much.